hello guys what's up and welcome back to another video thank you for clicking if you are new here hi my name is lillian and this is a reaction video guys i was not expecting to do this why this video is is because i was doing a research online to find something else but i bumped into this video of a whole stay in ghana and i said no way i must talk about this because i know so many people that have their families schooling in ghana kids brothers sisters friends schooling in ghana but they have never been to ghana before a lot of these people that are paying school fees brothers that are helping their brothers you know or sisters friends that are helping friends or a government somewhere that is paying for scholarship for students from eighth country but do not know what they are paying for in this video i want to expose the luxurious life of students in ghana seriously this is a university host there in kumasi ghana Trust me, this is beautiful. Please, before we go further into the video, ensure to like this video. If you have not subscribed, kindly hit the subscription button. The truth is, I have been to Kumasi, I mean, this uni to be precise. I even did a video. I'm going to link it in this video. Do it to catch it up and see what I'm talking about. So I had access to one of the hostess as a student you deserve this back then before i moved to ghana i do see privileged kids coming to school in ghana you hear oh this one is now schooling in ghana i know a commissioner in nigeria that has all his kids at, at that time schooling in ghana and i'm like wondering the unis in nigeria and unis in ghana are they different okay fine i always thought it's due to strike or something i used to like okay they are going to ghana to school what's the difference ghana is a black nation and in west africa very close to where i come from so what i I didn't know that these people know what they are doing seriously look at the life your child is living a life of no stress now I see why my niece begs me every day that she would like to go to uni in ghana because i already told her after your senior high in ghana remember you may go back home and go to uni in nigeria she tells me she don't mind taking a year off <laughs> she would tell me i don't mind staying one year at home helping out or getting a job to save up to add with whatever you have for me so i can school in ghana so i didn't know that this child has been taking a look she has been seeing things that i have not been seeing my child is seeing everything and of course who wouldn't want to school here this is absolutely stunning you guys let's take a look at it at night <laughs> I know right everywhere is lighting up so that may makes it look so cute so if you're wondering during the day is it gonna be fine well the good news is that it's even finer during the day for people like me that are lover of nature if you like greenish environment daytime will blow your mind before we take a look at the daytime i want us to go inside and see Let's go inside the student hostel and see the arrogance. Ich würde 
dich aus dem Nebel heraus. Bring dich wieder zurück nach Haus, ja. Yeah. Lass uns den Schritt nach vorne gehen, zusammen in die richtige Richtung drehen. Ich fühle dich sicher von Ost nach West. Komm, halt dich an mir fest. I mean, like, elevator in a student hostel. And this is just one, two, three, four, five, six, six floor. Oh, and they are elevators. Ooh, seriously, if you have someone schooling in Ghana and you are paying so much money, this is why. Mm? There is no negotiation. There is no cutting corners when you are schooling in Ghana. And this starts even from the very beginning. If I tell you how much I was paying for my kids' school, an average school in Ghana, you'll be like, ah, ah, what is it? But the truth is, the transportation to the school is on point. They bring them back on point. The food that they give them at the school during lunch periods is on point. Of course, the books that you are paying for on point so everything you are paying for when it feels like you are spending a lot of money when you see what you are paying for you will just be like it is worth it it is worth every penny i mean just look at that i'm not i mean like did, did you see the air conditioner the hair hair conditioners like it's it's beautiful and because sometimes the people that sends their kids to school in ghana are very rich okay they are very rich why didn't they send their child to school in the uk or the us or canada or maybe somewhere somewhere in europe why did they send them to another black country near us or is it that they don't want them to enjoy life they are enjoying life we didn't know now i apologize okay now i know or more just look at that i know it could look unrealistic okay that is why i'm linking this video up here the one that i shot directly on my camera on my lens like firstly ghana is underrated ghana is underrated definitely the most underrated african west african country like it's as if see i know why right ghanaians don't share a lot of information about themselves like how many days i have been trying to do research on youtube about google payments in ghana i, I can't find a video when a ghanaian do a video talking about something like that when they get to the part that is about money or wants to look like they are loud they won't do it they will just do other parts maybe how you know to monetize but when it gets to the part of payments they won't say it they don't want to become across like they are blowing their own trumpets but seriously it is time i know that youtubers like Wodi maya was an there's another Ghanaian lady that does um travel vlogs yeah she also have been, been showcasing some pl beautiful places in ghana but i feel like loud it you know when they say raise it raise it anyways i thank god is a Ghanaian that shot the clips that you're looking at because i went on the internet i went on already i went to take permission okay i went to take permission from him so i know but like to do it and we do it the way that we died here to give that information and make it a big deal yeah but it's amazing okay i love it i love it i like it like that okay don't change in fact don't change don't be loud about your projects because what are you trying to explain anybody that look down on you when they come here they collect and everybody go they make go they make videos like this one shock i'm shocked to see this i'm shocked to see this in ghana i believe if they have already seen it before they go here that pleasant surprise wouldn't have been there this is beautiful now i'm talking too much let's go back let's go see the daytime what it looks like now let's go and see what it looks like during the day
honestly this is breathtaking hostel for me it is giving an estate vibes like estate for top bankers estate for top bankers okay now for those that just got admission to study in ghana and you do not know where you're going to be sleeping but of course your parents already know what to expect it costs quite a fortune but it is worth every bit of it now this is what you get to see every morning when you wake up as a student in ghana seriously if you are studying in ghana or kids from my country that are schooling in ghana you are nothing but an aj butter thank you very much this is all the privileges you stand to enjoy and this is why i have one video I made a video the other time i strongly discourage nigerian youtubers who never been to ghana before who stays back at home get clips online do a comparison video between nigeria and ghana um, university Be between a nigerian university and a ghanaian university please don't do it at all it is it, it's a no see because you are going to make our own looks terrible especially if it's a university not in lagos or abuja or bini or let's say calabar even all these ones when i didn't mention safe you don't you shouldn't don't see this is why i can't make a comparison video between the nigerian universities and the ghanaian and the ghanaian universities because when it comes to the structure and the atmosphere the study environment they are nothing alike absolutely nothing alike truth is in Nigeria, you get to school with, even if you don't have much, you can, you know, still go to school. But here, you have to have a lot for international students. But whatever they give you here, what's every bit? And this is why I made a video the other time. I condemned a lady who tried to compare the University of Ghana to a university in far away east, in the eastern part of Nigeria. Like, what are you trying to prove? Even if it's UNN, don't do it. Mm -hmm. don't don't do it okay just cover giant of africa in that aspect don't do it because definitely no matter how beautiful the ones in nigeria are the ghana ongo need them down like they're gonna beat them down and it's unfair just like you say as i am like this i'm not very beautiful i know but there are ladies you will bring to come and sit beside me she's gonna make me look ugly thank you very much and that is not because i'm not beautiful okay that is because she is extremely beautiful but we are both important compare a nigerian university no fine campus please i have made mistake a com compare the university campus in ghana to a university campus in nigeria don't do it okay no cap don't do it yeah i hope you understand <laughs> thank you guys for watching this video i will see you in my next one okay bye